In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about a question that we had come in over our YouTube channel about physiological diplopia. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Before I get to that, let's talk about how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website. You can read a lot of information there. You can take a quiz or you can schedule a consultation. Wink, wink. <laughs> Okay. All right, so let's talk about this question that came in from YouTube. This person says that they have constant double vision. They're noticing physiological diplopia. And let's talk about what that is, but they say it's ruining their life. They're hypersensitive to everything, including noticing their blind spot. And she says that she has shocking anxiety as a result. Well. I can definitely understand that. If a person is not able to suppress the physiological diplopia, it's pretty disconcerting. So let's talk about that. What is it and what can actually be done about it? So the best method I can use to describe this physiological diplopia is called Brock string. We actually use this for a lot of things in therapy. One, we can use it for measuring peripheral vision. But two, we can also use it for teaching convergence and making sure that a person is not suppressing an eye. So when you hold this up to your nose, you look down the string, you look at the bead, and this is a long string, by the way, with other beads on it. So you can connect it to something like a cabinet or a door or even a chair, and you can stand on the other end of that. And as you look at this, then what you're looking for is, do you see one or two beads? And then how many strings look like they go into the bead and come out the back. Now, if you are doing this with a pair of glasses that would be maybe red on one side, green on the other, we can definitely tell which eye might be getting suppressed or ignored by the brain because that red eye lens will show up as a red um, white, you know, instead of a white string, it'll look like a red string. And then the green lens over the one eye will show up as kind of a green or sometimes even looks almost white when people look at it. So if we can say, yeah, the green white string is blinking off, we know that the left eye is being suppressed. Or if the red string is blinking off, we know that the right eye is being suppressed. But in physiological diplopia, what that means is, is that when I look at this bead on here, if I'm concentrating on the bead, everything in front and everything behind that bead should appear as double, which would mean that we see two strings in the front, two strings in the back, because it's just one string, but it looks double. An image from each eye is showing up here when we look at this. And in the case of physiological diplopia, it means like this is kind of what she's viewing everywhere in the world. So for instance, if right now, as I take this video, I'm looking into my camera, that would mean that I can see double of everything behind and double of everything in front. Now our brain generally suppresses that and we don't, we'll just see it as blurry, but we don't see it individually as double or distinctly as double. But in cases of patients like this or people like this who have this problem where they see everything, they can't block it out and they do witness and experience physiological diplopia in all areas besides what they're really focused on. Just imagine if you're driving down the road and you are focused on the road ahead of you, but you're seeing two cars come at you and there's only one. Or just imagine if you are, that's a safety factor, by the way. And just imagine if you're doing other things, let's say that you're trying to work and do whatever it is that you do for a living and everything in front of and or behind that was also seen as double. You can certainly imagine where she has high levels of anxiety and she says it's ruining her life. We can definitely feel for that because that would be so disconcerting. Most people wouldn't be able to tolerate it. There are methods and ways that you can suppress this and you can learn how to use your two eyes together so that if they are working together better, you're not getting that physiological diplopia type of reaction in everything that you see and do. How do we do that? Well, it really requires going through two phases one with syntonics and then two with syntonics combined with vision therapy but it's really not just about syntonics or light therapy we're talking about these filters and remember we're starting to call them more neurological light stimulating filters because we want to understand that it's stimulating the brain to work with the eyes on alignment or the visual pathway in the brain 
or other things that we need to actually work on to be able to resolve some of these visual issues our patients have. So it is possible to reduce that physiological diplopia problem that this person is you know, having and it's, it's really debilitating and ruining her life. So it is possible to treat that and correct it so that the brain does not continue to see that. Now, if you'd like to connect with us to learn more about doing this, maybe you have it, or maybe you're just like, it triggered something else that you thought of that you do have. Maybe it's just double vision in general. Then you can call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You can schedule a consultation, which is your next step. Hint, hint. In order to find out how we might be able to help you. As always, I say, if you haven't done so, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, like the video and subscribe. And then also, please pass this video on to someone else who might benefit from it. Thank you.